chance. What it do, cuz cuz? It's your cuddy, Slick, and I'm here with another cool video. Yarra. Okay, today we're going to be taking a quick look and cracking open tire inflator portable air compressor. Now this product right here, you get on Amazon.com for $28.79. So you're looking at $29. Now let's get straight into it. Yes, yes. Now here it is, ladies and gentlemen, tire inflator portable air compressor. Now let's crack it open. All right, all right. <laughs> I know some of y'all probably thinking, why do you just say it like that? What's wrong with you, Cuddy? Look, you gotta have some fun. You know what I mean? Tire inflator. Air compressor. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. All right, nothing fancy. A simple brown box. You know what I mean? Digital tire inflator. Good to have in your car at all times if you own a vehicle. This is a must have at all times in your car. You may never know. One day, the tire might be low or you might get that flat. You know what I mean? Good to have. Check your tire pressure. You know what I mean? Uh, put some air in your tire. You know what I mean? Keep your car safe. At all times. But with this right here, you got, of course, on it, you got your handle. You got your pressure adjustment button. You have your light on and off button. On this side, you, right here, it says you got your LED lights, LED display, power on and off button. All on this small little device right here on the go. Oh, yeah. Good to have. Good to have. Now, I already have one in my car. Nothing like this one though. I do have a different uh, tire compressor, but you know, I got this one because you know, my lady, she have a car and she don't have a uh, air compressor. And I asked her why this whole time, I thought you had one. She's like, no. So I got one. It's good to have y'all, it's good to have. So inside the box, you get your carrying case, of course, keep everything all nice and neat inside your vehicle. All right, inside a carrying case, you got your small air compressor pump right here. Don't want to take much more, take a much room in the back of the trunk. You know what I mean? Easy to use, easy to connect. Cigarette lighter right here, 12 volt. Plug it in, plug it in. Let's see, Let me get it out of here. That's a nice storage for the uh, air, air compressor cord. You also got your air compressor right here Ooh, man it's in there okay so everything everything's pretty much connected you just push it down that slot do everything nice and neat and this is pretty long look at this not bad so this, the core is long too plug into your cigarette lighter oh yeah that's long stretch it out like caramello oh this is nice LED display up in the front. Yo, function buttons right here on the side. Nice good handle. LED lights up on top. So you can see at night if you need to pump up the air at night. But overall, very easy, very simple use. We got some rubber feet at the bottom. So that we can lay down on the ground like that while you're pumping up your tire. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is nice. You also get your accessories. Alright. Pump up balls and Whatever you need to pump up. Oh yeah. Not bad at all. I'm definitely digging this. So all this can stay right in the box. Let me take this off. Ah, there we go. Bam, so all this can stay right up in here. Keep everything together, so you won't lose nothing. Yes, yes. All right, let me go ahead and get my uh, battery powered generator. Let's plug this bad boy up and uh, check out some of the display on this bad boy. All right, hang tight. All right, y'all, I got everything hooked up, connected, and ready to rock out. You know what I mean? Also, inside the box, you get your user guy. All right, show you how to operate and use. So keep this at all times, give you little tips and everything, the best way to use it. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. You got your LED display up in front. Let me go ahead and take off this plastic. Take it off real quick. Yes, yes. So you got your LED display up in the front. You got your, your um, pressure modes where you want to set it at. So if you do 33 PSI, then when you pump up your tire, 
it, it will stop at 33 and it won't go no more. Then you just cut it off and unplug it and you get a rock out. You got your um, mode right here to switch up the PSI from the bar and kilo, uh, kilograms. As well, your light, LED light right here. You got three modes. Here's your SOS right here. And then your off button. And then you got your power button to cut on the pump. So. All right, pretty much straightforward. Oh yeah. So now what I'm about to do, my little connectors, I'm glad I kind of got this right now because I need to pump up my hoverboard. <laughs> That's right, you heard me correctly. I got to put the tire on my 10 inch hoverboard. So all right, let me see if this will, can do that. And uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, hang tight. Oh yeah. I have everything hooked up, connected, and ready to pump up. Yeah! So here it is, my 10 inch hoverboard. Got it connected to the tire on the side. So let's go ahead and pump this bad boy up and put some air in my tire so I can ride my hoverboard again. <sighs> it's been out, out of commission for a while because my tire was low. I was riding on flats. But we're going to come back, baby. We're going to come back. Yeah! All right, here we go. With no further ado, let me go ahead and cut it off. Pump it up. There we go. So I, don't, I don't want to pump it up too much. I did like 10 on this one. That's where it stopped at. As you can see right there, we got 13.0. Cut it off. Make sure you cut it off. Then you take, oh yeah, that's tight. Then you just take it off. And I'll screw this back on. And I got to do the same thing on the other side. Oh yeah. Nice. All right, let me screw this down to the side. See, so I can see. In live time, let me move this stuff. I want y'all to see this in live time real quick. Yep, that's my hoverboard right here. 10 inch. I had to put some air in it. Ah. All right. So, find the inner tube part right there. That's why I got to look at it. Look at it. I'm going to screw that part. Oh, yeah, I'm loving this. So for Chris, I bought my nephew a 10 inch hoverboard as well. He was super excited. His is affordable though. Mine's not. And uh, yeah, his came with a pump. I was like, this is coming with a pump. And that's how I realized like, oh, you can't put air in these tires. So <laughs> put this on there, get the air coming out. Close that up. All right, on. Watch it. We're going to stop at 10. And there it is. That good? It's like I need a little more. Do I need a little more? Oh, no, that's good. That's good. Hit the power button. All right. Very important that you once it stop, you hit the power button so you, that way it knows it's off. Because if not, once you unplug it, it's gonna go again because it's losing air. It's gonna try to re refill that that air gap. You know what I mean? All right. Pull this off. Bam. Get back on. All right, and it should be. That was nice and tight. Let's see. Okay, that was that was good. So now it should be good. Let me see. Get powered on fast. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Like I said, good to have to pump anything, your car, your balls, your hoverboards, if you need pumping. Oh yeah, this right here is true. Yeah, that I mean.